Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel, if you didn't know that already, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play All My Life, originally by Niz Lopi. This is actually going to be the Ed Sheeran version, and it's in standard tuning and requires a lot of finger picking. The cover with tabs is going to start right at the end of this clip, and if you want to skip ahead to the lesson, go ahead and click right here. So, uh, good luck learning it, guys. So we're going to be using a lot of bar chords for this song. And if those are difficult for you or you're not used to them, go ahead and check out my bar chord video here. I put a little tips and tricks on how to do them a little bit easier. So check that out. It might help you. But the chords we're going to be using are an A major bar chord, a D major chord, an E7 over D, and that is going to be the open D string, 4th fret G, 5th fret B, and 4th fret high E string. And the next chord we're going to use is a D major 7th chord, and that's going to be index finger barring the 5th fret of the A through high E strings, ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string, middle finger on the 6th fret of the G string, and your pinky on the 7th fret of the B string. And then we're going to use a C sharp minor 7th chord, that's going to be the 4th fret A, 6th fret D, 4th fret G, 5th fret B, and 4th fret high E string. 
A B minor 7th, use that shape and just move it down a whole step. So 2nd A, 4th D, 2nd G, 3rd B, and 2nd high E string. And then an F sharp minor chord, and then an E major chord. And those are the chords we're going to be using throughout most of the song with a few variations in between. Starting with the verse, the first part you're going to learn sounds like this. So the first chord we're going to use is that A major bar chord. And you're going to pluck the E, D, G, and B strings at the same time. And I assign one of my fingers on my picking hand to each of those strings that we can just pluck them all. And you're going to let that ring out for eight counts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, before going to the next chord, which is going to be a D major. And what you can do is pluck the open D string and 2nd fret of the high E string at the same time. And then pluck the 3rd fret of the B, 2nd fret G, and then you're going to move up to that E7 over D chord. So, and to move to that next chord, all you have to do is move your fingers one step up. So again, 4th fret high E, 5th fret B, 4th fret um, G string. And then you're going to pluck that same way again. So open D, 4th fret E at the same time, and then the 5th fret of the B, 4th fret of the G. And from there, you're going to move your index finger to the 4th fret of the A string. You're going to slide up from the 4th fret to the 5th fret and set yourself up for the D major 7th chord, and you're going to pluck the 7th fret of the D string, the 6th fret of the G, and then you're going to use your thumb to strum down on all of them a little bit slowly. So they kind of ring out one after the other. So all together so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Practice that and then move on to the next part. The next part is a little bit easier to me at least, hopefully it's easier for you, but it sounds like this. So you're going to start with that same A major bar chord and plug it the same way as before, but this time only let it ring out for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to switch to the D major 7th chord, and you're just going to pluck the A, D, G, and B strings at the same time. And remember, assign each of your fingers on your picking hand to one string, that way you can get them all at the same time. And you're going to pluck them, and then mute really quickly. And you can do this two ways. You can pluck them all at once, and then mute them, just by putting your hand back on the strings. Or you can pluck them, and then release your fretting hand, um, that way they're not pressing down on those frets anymore. Either way works. And after you do that, you can do the same thing with the C sharp minor 7th chord. So from D major 7th to C sharp minor 7th. And then you're going to move down to the B minor 7th and you're going to pluck A, D, G, and then strum down and mute. So I'm just plucking those first three notes and then strumming down with my nail and then muting the strings. So this part all together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I think the hardest part is just going to be doing those last three chords, if you're not used to them. The third part is a little bit different and it sounds like this. So you remember the way we did the B minor 7th chord in the previous part? You're going to be doing that again with multiple chords. So you're going to start again with the B minor 7th and do the same thing. And then you're going to switch to the F sharp minor and do the same thing. But this time you're going to pluck the 2nd fret of the E string, 4th fret A, and then the 4th fret of the D string, and then strum down and mute. And after that you're going to go back to B minor 7th and you're just going to pluck the A, D, G, and B strings at the same time once and then mute them, and then go to E major, and you're going to pluck E, D, G, and B, again at the same time, 
and then mute. This one, you can't really just pull your uh, fretting hand off. You just rest your hand over here, your picking hand, back on the strings. So, and then you go back to the F sharp minor, and then do the same thing you did before. So all together. Now the next part of the verse sounds like this. So you should start to notice a pattern here. We're going to start with the B minor 7th again, pluck it the same way as before, A, D, G, strum, and mute, and then move up to the D major 7th chord up here, and do the same picking pattern. A, D, G, strum, and then mute, and then you're going to move up here, and this is what I meant at the beginning where I said there's going to be a variation. Um, this over here is an F sharp minor, and so is this. It's an F sharp minor 7th. So you want to use your index finger to bar the ninth fret of the A, D, G strings, and then put your middle finger on the 10th fret of the B string, and then your ring finger on the 11th fret of the D string. And you're just going to pluck those at the same time and then mute them like you did before. And then the next chord after that is going to be a variation of an E major. And that's just going to be the 7th fret of the A string, and then use your ring finger to bar the ninth fret of the D, G, and B. Or if you're more comfortable, use all your fingers like that. I prefer it this way. But you're just going to pluck those all at the same time. So from the F sharp minor 7th to E. And then you're going to go back to the D major 7th and pluck it the same way you did before. And let it ring out. So this part all together, again, sounds like this. part is just two chords really easy it's where he starts to say so won't you come here and it's gonna be that D major seventh you're gonna plug it and then really fast move up to the E major chord up here the bar chord and then let that one ring out and then just before going to the chorus you're gonna strum down and slide all the way back over here you don't have to continue pressing all the way down just get that one note on the strum and then pull away so, and then you're going to start the chorus. So all the parts together should sound like this. to the chorus. Alright, so he plays three different versions for the chorus. The first one sounds like this. And you just keep repeating that over and over again throughout the first chorus before it goes into the next verse. So the chords you're using are going to be an E major, an F sharp minor, a D major seventh, a major, F sharp minor, and E major again. Again, those last two are just going to be an octave higher than the ones you've been using. Now for the first two chords, the E major and the F sharp minor, strumming pattern is going to be the same. It's going to go down, 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 and then you're going to mute the strings. And I like to just rest my fingers on top of the strings so they're barely touching and not pressing down on any of them. And I'm just going to strum down, up, up, down, down, so, and then switch to the next chord and do the same thing. So F sharp minor, down, 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 mute, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Again, just muted strums, really easy. Then you're going to move up here to that D major 7th, and you're going to strum down, down, down. And then this one's quick right here. You do one more down strum and then switch to the A major chord and strum up. And then from that up strum, you strum up, down, 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 up. 
So it's the same strumming pattern, but this time you're just switching chords instead of just doing all muted. So down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Now here's where the strumming pattern changes up a little bit on this F sharp minor 7th and then this E major chord. You're still going to do the down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up strums. You can do the F sharp minor, down, 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 and then switch to the E major chord and do a quick down, up strum. And you're just going to strum up real quick and then release your fretting hand off of the strings so the E chord doesn't ring out anymore. And then you're going to continue that up, down, 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 up. So, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So I'll play it all together again a little bit slower. Again, you just repeat that through the whole first chorus and then you go back into the verse. Now the second version of the chorus uses the same strumming pattern as the first one but you don't do any of those full-on muted strums where you're not pressing down on anything. You're just going to palm mute everything so just rest your palm on top of the strings over here do the same chords and the same strumming pattern. So it's gonna sound like this. So again, all I'm doing is resting my palm over here on top of the strings, just barely touching over the bridge. And I'm going to just do down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, and repeat that same strumming pattern. difference is when you get to that E bar chord over here, you can uh, keep repeating the muted strums completely. Just like you did in the first chorus. So down, 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 up, mute. That one should be a little bit easier than the first chorus because you don't have to remember your finger placement um, after those muted strums. Now here's where it gets a little bit complicated. The third version of the chorus sounds like this. So again, we're going to be using the same chords as before, just with a picking pattern this time instead of a strumming pattern. So you're going to want to palm mute all these, and again, just barely touch them over the bridge. Barely touch your palm over the bridge. You're going to pluck the E string twice, one, two, and then use your nail to strum down on the E, A, D, and G strings once. Then you're going to pluck the first fret of the G and second fret of the D at the same time. Then you're going to pluck the D string on the second fret again, then an open E, strum down again, and then you're going to mute all the strings and do a quick down up strum. So I'll play it a little bit slower. Then you're going to switch to the F sharp minor and do the same thing. Second fret twice of the E string, strum down, pluck D and G at the same time, then the fourth fret of the D second fret of the E string, strum down on the chord again, and then muted down up strum. So those first two chords. Now this part gets tricky again. So the second half of this chord sounds like this. So I'm going to start with that D major 7th chord and I'm going to pluck the A string twice and then I'm going to strum down on the A, D, G, and B strings. And then after that I'm going to switch to the A major bar chord 
and that's where I'm going to pluck the D and G at the same time, and then the 7th fret of the D, and then 5th fret of the low E string, and then strum down on the uh, A chord, and then a muted down up strum like before. So we're just doing the same sort of picking pattern, but switching chords halfway in between. After that, you're going to move up to the F sharp minor chord, pluck the 9th fret of the A string twice, strum down on the chord, and then you're going to move to the E major chord and strum up. And that one's quick too. Now from here, I kind of keep going with the picking pattern, even when the strings are all muted. So after I do that E chord where I plug all of those strings at the same time and mute it, I'm going to pretend I still have that chord going and I'm going to pluck the D and G at the same time, the A string, and then strum down, down, up, all muted. You don't have to do it, but it just helps me keep in time. So like this. And then I repeat everything again. Again, you don't have to do it, but it just helps me. So all together a little bit slower. Alright, now the very last part of the song you gotta learn is that outro. It sounds like this. So for the outro, we're using the same chords that we've been doing for each of the courses, we're just using a different pattern. So for each of these chords, you're going to pluck the four lowest notes of the chord. In this case, for the E major, it's E, A, D, and G. You're going to pluck them at the same time, and then mute. And then you're going to pluck them again, and then mute again. Now, for the E chord, the very first one that starts it, it's the only one with different timing, like I said. The timing for it goes one, and two, and three, and four, and, and then you switch chords. While the rest, F sharp minor for example, goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so E, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and and then you keep switching the rest of them with that same pattern as the F sharp minor. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so again, strumming pattern, pluck, mute, pluck, F sharp minor, and again the four lowest notes. So the F sharp minor gets E, A, D, and G again. Now when you get to the D major seventh chord, it's held half as long. So you're going to pluck the A, D, G, and B strings, and then mute, and switch to the A major bar chord, and then pluck those strings, and then mute. So one and two and three and four and. Then you can do the same thing for the F sharp minor seventh up here and the E major. And then keep repeating. So a little bit slower. And then the second time around, the E major chord at the beginning gets the same pattern as the rest of them. So one and two. After you do all that, you're just going to end the song by strumming down on the A major bar chord. 
So that's it for this lesson, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're able to learn it. I'd like to give a special thanks to Danny Aguilera for requesting the song. It took a lot longer to make than I thought it would for that little three and a half minute song, but there are a bunch of different picking patterns as you saw if you watched the video. If you guys have any requests you want to leave in the comment box down below, go ahead and do that, and I will add to my list. I try to get to everybody as soon as I can. Lately, it's been a little bit more difficult with my job, but I'm still trying to get things done. So thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the next video.